Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. Today we are hopping right into a DIY project. So I wanted to attempt a simple wall art project, but with the twist. I saw this macrame wall art on Pinterest. I thought it was really beautiful and would add great texture to any room that I put it in because I'm working on my living room, my bedroom, my meditation space, etc. I wanted to just have a piece that could float if I wanted to and that would work really well on the wall. I've also never worked with macrame, so I figured this would be a great start. These macrame wall arts originate in Mexico and they actually sell from anywhere between $200 to a thousand dollars depending on how large your piece is and the quality we obviously don't want to spend that much money i do understand why they're expensive because this does take some time but it's beautiful when you're finished so let's hop into materials we have our macrame fabric which comes at about 25 yards per bundle it's plenty for me i did three pieces so this worked out perfectly if you're planning on doing a bigger project i would grab an additional one this cost me about 5.99 i have fabric stiffener here some tutorials on this project don't call for the stiffener but i 100 percent recommend it it's an extra step but it's totally worth it that cost me about eight dollars we have pre-drilled drift wood, drift wood bar that's a tongue twister that was about 5.99 whatever you plan on putting your project on you don't have to get the drift wood bar um, whether it's a, a loop a hoop or a regular bar I've seen some people do like black bars whatever you plan on doing the project on that's what you're gonna use here and that's what you're gonna start with then we have DCA yarn I was planning on doing this all white but it really didn't work out for the camera so I actually changed it to black just so it was easier for you guys to see and then we have our styrofoam balls so I picked up two bags of the styrofoam balls one that was 1.8 inches and one that was 2.3 inches I saw that it added variation to the wall art which I liked you can do them all the same it's up to you we have our dowels which we're going to use to put holes in the styrofoam balls we have a fur brush comb scissors and a hot glue here is the black yarn that I was telling you guys about and I also have macrame cord So we are starting out with our macrame yarn. I started here because this is gonna have to hang and dry. So you're gonna take it, unravel it, and cut it to length. My wall art hangs at about 22 inches done, so I doubled that to 44. I cut about 12 of these strips. Once you're finished cutting your strips to length, you're going to just take one at a time and unravel it. When you unravel it, you're going to realize that there's three pieces of macrame yarn stuck together and you're just going to hang them all separately. Now for the fabric stiffener. So at this point, you should have about 36 pieces of separated yarn. I did about three macrame parts in general. Each of those parts took about 12 pieces of yarn. So in total, you have your 36 right there. The fabric stiffener is going to allow us to get that straight look we're going for with the fabric. So you're just gonna take the fabric, feel free to do multiple pieces at a time, and dip them all the way into the fabric stiffener until the entire piece is submerged. Do not let go of the end or you're gonna have a mess. Now you're gonna hold your finger over the opening of the bottle and slowly pull out the fabric to squeeze out the excess liquid with that finger you have over the bottle. You're gonna repeat this until all of your pieces have been dipped and covered in the fabric stiffener and then hang your pieces to let them dry. I did it this way versus spraying them because it's just kind of like a waste of product. You can't really drench them as much as you need to. So this was the better way for me. I hung mine over my light post and it took about 30 minutes to an hour to dry. While the yarn dried, I prepped the wooden bar. I originally wanted leather, but unfortunately I couldn't find that in time. The length of the cord really depends on your preference, but I cut mine to about 22 inches in length. I stuck the loose end into the pre-drilled holes and tied two knots to secure it. And then I did the same thing on the other end. So now for the yarn. After about an hour, my macrame yarn was dry. I went ahead and put them in sections and began combing. Again, I did about 12 pieces of yarn per section to get the desired look that I was going for. I put a bag clip at the top of the yarn to keep the yarn as secured as possible. It made it a lot easier to do about three or four pieces at a time because the yarn is super fragile and would get tangled if you're not careful if you brush too quickly. So I took a few pieces at a time and just put them to the side and opened the clip and re-clipped it back on just so it was as flat as possible. FYI, this yarn is gonna try to curl back up on you. It's not a big deal. That's its natural pattern. And throughout the project, you're gonna be brushing it and combing it as straight as possible anyway, so you don't have to get everything perfect. I spent so much wasted time trying to comb this stuff and it just, it was, I realized later on that it was just a waste of time. So just try to get it as combed straight as possible, um, bundled together and you're pretty much good to go. 
Now let's get to the fun part, which is putting this all together. So I secured my bar with a few thumbtacks and it worked just fine. We're not doing any crazy heavy pulling, so you don't have to worry about that. Once the bar was secured, I took more of the macrame cord and cut it to the same length I cut my yard to, which was 44 inches. This rope will be used to install the styrofoam balls. I tied the rope around the bar and secured it where I wanted my first row to hang. Now I'm taking that combed section of macrame yarn and hanging it over top the rope, making sure the rope in the center is nicely hidden. I ended up doing a little brushing here as well with the fur brush to lay the yarn as neatly as possible. Then I used a small unraveled piece of the macrame yarn to tie the bunch of yarn together. Just be careful when you're knotting and pulling this. If you pull too hard, it will break apart. So just pull it enough to secure it and you'll be totally fine. Now for the embroidery floss. The tutorial I followed used the gathering knot, which works great and perfectly secures the floss without showing any loose ends. So start with the loop as you can see here. Hold it to your bundle with the end sticking up and give yourself enough thread at the top so you can grab onto that piece later. Now you're gonna start wrapping your embroidery floss tightly around the macrame yarn bundle. Keep wrapping it until it's at your desired length, but make sure to not completely cover the loop at the bottom. We're gonna use that to secure this part of the embroidery floss. Once the floss is to your desired length, you're gonna trim the end and take that end and thread it through the remaining loop at the bottom. Pull the top piece to gather the knot under the embroidery floss and just trim the ends as close to the base as possible. If you have any little pieces sticking out, just use the scissors and just tuck it under the wrapped embroidery floss. Now for the styrofoam balls. I took one of the dowels and literally stuck it through the center of the styrofoam ball. You'll wanna make sure you get as close to the center as possible because if not, the ball will hang crooked under the yarn and it's definitely noticeable. Divvy up your yarn so you have equal parts in the front and back. Take that rope out, pull it to the side, and then you're gonna take your styrofoam ball, cover the hole, it made it easier to cover the hole for me, cover the hole with the rope, and then you're gonna use that dowel to just push both ends of the rope through the styrofoam ball. Once you get both ends of the rope through, go ahead and slide your styrofoam ball all the way up to the base of your last piece of embroidery floss. Then I just took the front piece of yarn and back piece of yarn and brushed it and used it to cover up the styrofoam ball so you can no longer see it. Now for your last step to secure the styrofoam ball, we're basically gonna do steps one through two again. Take that loose piece of macrame yarn and secure the ball. Then you're gonna take your embroidery floss and do the same exact thing you did in step two. Secure the knot, pull it up, trim it, and tuck it. And that's pretty much it. I basically did this process throughout the whole project, securing all the styrofoam balls. This section here that you're gonna see, I did the embroidery floss a little bit longer just to add that length. You can choose to do it as long or as short as you want to. It really just depends on the desired look that you want. So once you have completed all of your macrame pieces, you're just gonna go ahead and trim the bottoms. I at first cut them at uneven lengths purposely just to get the excess off the bottom and then I just combed through and went in for a closer, more even trim until it was to the desired straightness that I wanted it to be. And that is it. This project took me about a day to do, but it was so worth it. I absolutely loved it. I'm gonna do a few more with color on it. And as you can see, I'm moving it around a bit to see where I want it. But that's what I love so much about these pieces is that they're so versatile. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Make sure to tune in next week for another video. Bye.